Welcome to Art at Home. I'm Tony Carlucci, a teaching artist at the Linden House Arts Center. We miss you all and hope you are making Art at Home. This week's Art at Home is inspired by the artist Diane T. She's a local artist and has two portraits of her grandson in the 45th Jury Show at the Linden House Arts Center. Drawing portraits is really special. You can draw a portrait of a family member, you can make one of yourself or a friend. If you aren't sure how to draw a face and you would like some tips, I'd love to show you. This is just one of many ways you can draw a portrait. I begin with a square. Then I draw a line down the middle of the square this way and middle of the square this way. Then I draw a line halfway down and then halfway between these two and halfway between these two. This is just general guidelines. Everyone is different. Then I draw an oval. I draw an oval in the top portion. I draw an oval in this portion just to get a general start. Couple lines for the neck. And then we're going to start putting some of the features. We have the eye. And in a young person, the eye is just below this line. Here's the bridge of the nose. Nose goes here. Kind of a triangle. The eye goes here. Also a triangle. You can start with very simple shapes to begin with, just to get everything in the right place. Then we have the top lip and the bottom lip. Of course, every person is different. Just start out with very general lines and shapes, and then you can add more detail, put in finishing touches, and then we have the ear. The ear goes over here somewhere, kind of in this area. can be very simple. The hair. Now, I like to draw hair first as a shape. Do you want, does your person have short hair, long hair? Just draw the shape first, and then you give it a little bit more definition. and just continue adding details until you have the portrait you want. And keep practicing, keep practicing, and enjoy drawing the people that are around you, the people that are important to you, the people you love. Here you see, I've erased the guidelines. I erased that original square that I drew. I added finishing touches. I hope you enjoy drawing portraits as much as I do. I can't wait to see what you do.